Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week till you're home from the hospitals and back from over there. <laughs> Tonight, I'm seeing Don Wilson. Sergeant Lou Weiner wrote us from Germany asking command performance to shoot a hunk of college atmosphere at the old AFRS microphone. Well, we're now at good old Wirtle Bertle U tonight. And we find our new instructor looking over the place. She's got WU on her sweater, and the sergeant must have had woo on his mind. It's lovely Donna Reed. <laughs> But am I qualified to join your teaching staff? <laughs> and I believe I speak for every member of the faculty. Why, Gene? I uh, don't think you'll find the courses very hard, Donna. We cooperate with our fellow workers. In fact, I, for one, will be glad to come over every night and help you with your lectures. <laughs> I don't think you'd want to. Uh, why? Do you know Latin? No, but I know Jiu-Jitsu. Oh. Well, now, Donna, we've got to meet the faculty of the board of faculty, of course. They have to approve your joining the school. Oh, Gentlemen, this is Donna Reed. She's awaiting your approval. Gentlemen, what is your decision? Okay, kid, you're in. <laughs> now I'll assign one of our students to show you around the campus. How about that cute student over there? I'll call him. Hey, you... You with the low forest. Come on over here. Coming, Gene. Gene, my forehead's too low. I keep tipping over. <laughs> Young man, what is your name? Gary Moore. Doesn't it make you sick? <laughs> now, Moore, if you just show Miss Reed, Miss Donna Reed, around the campus. Oh, please. she's a newcomer, huh? Well, bless her little high school background. <laughs> <laughs> Now we start with a script. Donna, I'm... I'm <laughs> Donna, I'm just about to tell you all the answers. Now, uh, first, have, have you found a place to live? Why, no, I... Uh, housing conditions are very tight. In fact, I myself am sharing a room with a termite. Does he like it? He must. He's already eaten two of the walls. <laughs> but let's wander around now and look over the campus. Now, uh, right over there is our beautiful fish pond, donated by the class of 1907. <laughs> 1907-1907, I can first it, read it either way, it makes no sense. <laughs> That's the fish pond, donated by the class of 1907. Yes. Uh, who's that old man standing next to us? Yeah, that's the lifeguard, donated by the class of 1908. <laughs> kind of an old character. Now, look, down there, down there is the building where I got my knowledge of history. And down there is the ivy-covered building where I got my knowledge of science. Uh, where'd you get the knowledge of anatomy? At Hollywood and Vine. It's windy down there. <laughs> That's a dirty laugh. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Donna, what are, you, uh, what are you looking at? You see something? Yeah, this is an interesting piece of sculpture. Uh, whose bust is this? That is Jay Russell, the founder of our college. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, uh, Jay Russell Wordlebertle is his name. He's, uh, he's a part-time eel smuggler from Pismo Beach. <laughs> He founded this college here in 1608. He sent a prairie wagon here full of books, and those books formed the foundation of our school. Amazing. Yes. Later, however, we got prosperous, and we took the books out of the foundation and put in bricks. <laughs> it's better that way. And it was, it, was, it was Jay Russell who gave the school its shining Latin motto, the motto we all try to live up to, Semper Sabatus per gratia cum laud ad astra ad summa fidelis e unum. <laughs> Never slap a lady while she's chewing tobacco. <laughs> so a lot of cleaning fluid that way. <laughs> not, not only 
that, but O.J. Russell himself personally laid the cornerstone of this building. He laid the cornerstone himself? Of a certainty. In fact, if you look closely, you can still see one of his legs sticking out of the cement. <laughs> How charming. Oh, I smell something burning. What is it, Gary? Don Wilson? Oh, no, no. This is, this is homecoming week, you know, football season. You know, some colleges get childish about football games. Now, one college even burns a dummy of the other school's coach. But you don't burn a dummy, huh? Of course not. We burn their coach. <laughs> In this season, we have an even better chance of winning. This year, we're burning our own coach. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, play, I played football myself, you know. Was it exciting? Uh, I'll never forget when my big moment came. I rushed out on the field. The signals were called. There was a shift to the left, a shift to the right, and I plunged through the line, dodging, weaving, squirming. On and on I ran. The goal line was ten yards away, five yards. Then I was across it. Touchdown! Yeah, you wonderful. Yeah. See, if I could only do it when the other team is on the field. <laughs> I, had a, I had a great position on the team, though. What was your position? I was first baseman. First baseman? But that isn't football. I know. Well, then what? Wrong rule book. <laughs> Wrong rule book. I'll say yeah. it again. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Doesn't Wordle Wordle have anything like an uh, old ox road? Don't you have a, a flirtation there? Don't you have a... Don't what? you have a, a, a lover's lane? Gary, where would you go alone uh, if you want to be alone with a girl? A girl you like. Uh, a girl who needs to be held close and, and hugged and, and kissed. Why, to the ping-pong room. <laughs> Gary, you'd take a love lone girl to the ping-pong room? Naturally. Then I could make and still have fun at the same time. <laughs> that one I don't understand myself. <laughs> Take it down there. We have have fun at the same time. Tell you what, you want to see more of the campus? No. Gary, stroll up this dark romantic path with me. Nah, that's that's too exciting. <laughs> Gee, it, it's dark up here. I'll bet you can learn things here. Yes. Lots of boys and girls come up this lane to do their homework. What's that? A couple of kids studying freshman physique. <laughs> Freshman physics. <laughs> Those kids over there are studying freshman Greek. That's freshman geography. Postgraduate work. Miss <laughs> Shaw. Oh, geez, Miss. You're saying these parents aren't the type to devour their young, you know? <laughs> Miss Reed, what, what, what are you going to study here? Well, what degrees are you studying for? Oh, a BA, an LLD, a PhD, and an MA. Well, that's quite impressive. No, I don't know. Put them all together and what do they spell? Dalit <laughs> Mesmas. Cute. <laughs> I am too. Now, Miss Reed, <laughs> well, when, when you get settled here, I'll be glad to carry your books home from school. Gary, do you carry other girls' books home from school? So you should see my room. Clear up to the ceiling, nothing but books. <laughs> but I, I'll give you a tip, Miss Reed. You'll be happiest here. You should go right out like I did and join a sorority. You join a sorority? <laughs> you join a sorority? Gary, it's a variety for girls. What do you think I'm for, ducks? <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, by the way, the girls here, the girls here don't go around wearing sweaters all the time. But I do. Now, Miss Reed, would you go to a fancy dance with a sloppy Joe? I'm busy tonight, Gary, but it's awfully sweet of you to ask me. <laughs> oh, you, you can't get my goat. I'm, I'm a man of the world. <clears throat> Yes, thank you. Well, 
aren't you going to light it? What, and scorch the chocolate? <laughs> Don't be bashful. Define a few. <laughs> Define, girl. Go ahead. Well, other men are aggressive, mm -hmm. as well as muscular, self-determined, and manly. Yeah. But you're so different. Thank you. 